Explosions have been reported close to the Al Quds Hospital in Gaza City, where 14,000 people are believed to be sheltering. Doctors at the hospital say they've been warned by Israel to evacuate, but are unable to move their patients in intensive care and babies in incubators. This evening, President Biden spoke to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to underline Americans' concern that civilians must be protected and the flow of aid to Gaza increased. They spoke as concerns grow over increasing violence on Israel's northern border with Lebanon. From Tel Aviv, Rachel Townsend has this report. Almost 200 miles from Gaza, homes in northern Israel burn, the result of Hezbollah rockets fired from Lebanon. Israeli artillery is fired back in return. What may have prompted this escalation in the north is the sight of armoured bulldozers advancing inside Gaza in pictures released by the Israeli military. They insist they're targeting Hamas bases. <laughs> Yet this afternoon, explosions were reported 50 metres from Al-Quds Hospital in Gaza City. Shortly afterwards, the Palestinian Red Crescent were told to evacuate the building, handed the impossible task of moving patients and the thousands seeking shelter here to relative safety. And further south, people search the rubble for survivors. There were 13 people inside the house. My mother and sister have serious injuries. My brother-in-law and my sister's children became martyrs. And this is what desperation leads to. Thousands raided this UN warehouse inside Gaza, taking flour and other basic items needed to survive. We have no flour, no aid, no water, not even toilets, this man says. Our houses were destroyed. No one cares about us. We appeal to the people of the world. We needed aid, and we wouldn't have done this if we weren't in need. Everything is in short supply here, and as the darkness is lit by yet more explosions, this familiar sound echoes over Gaza once again. <laughs> 